So, no water moccasins today. Or none that I've seen anyway. They can be pretty stealthy, let me tell you. <clears throat> uh, put my gun back on safe. Um, I'm going to walk back out. Uh, next thing to do besides working on the cabin is to come down here and do a couple micro plots and then get uh, the fire break ready for a couple uh, micro plots and just, just go from there and have fun with it and, uh, you know, be good stewards of the land. Take care of the deer. Uh, take care of the other animals. Evidently, I keep hearing that if you take care of the deer wisely then you will actually uh, be helping the birds and the pollinators and the squirrels and everything else you know so it's not just about feeding deer so that you can shoot them you know so that they're fat and juicy Ooh. it's also really about uh, <clears throat> taking care of the land as a whole so that's what we're trying to do. And it sure is fun, let me tell you. Okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'm just gonna ease on out of here, baby. Uh -huh. Head back to the truck and then head home and then to work. So you can see where these snakes are laying up underneath this bank. I mean, if I was a snake, <laughs> that's, you know, that's the type of place I would be in, so. It's just that simple. I'm not so much anti-snake as I am uh, anti-snake biting my kids when they're playing down by the creek, and that 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 can happen. <clears throat> so I don't like that. <laughs> no. Hmm. I think I see one over there. I'm pretty damn sure I see one over there. Yep, I see one. He's a big one too. I don't know if you can see him, but I can see him. That's that big gray one. That has got to be a cottonmouth. He's over here real quiet. Let's see if I can get a shot of him. I'm gonna get a big ass stick too, because I ain't gonna touch him with my hands. Mm-mm, no child, no. There we go. That is a snake grabbing stick if ever I saw one. <laughs> Little 410 with that eight shot. Blew them in half, boy. Blew them in half. Just straight up. Blew them in half. Oh, God. He's a big one. Yeah, he probably still gonna be moving, too. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, I got his head. That is what you call a cotton mouth. <laughs> Let's just say I don't want my kids down here playing with him, so. One down, I don't know how many more to go. I'm sure there's more than him down here. And you got a big old dam of leaves like that. Usually you're gonna have something moving in there, creepy crawly like. Something will come in here tonight and eat him. So, you know. Uh, is that another one right there? Damn the bull. <laughs> typically, snakes don't bother you. They typically go the other way, but a cottonmouth can be very aggressive and, uh, 
I just don't want them down here with my kids coming down here to play, man. So I'm going to try to thin them out as much as I can. The water snakes don't bother me so much. But that son of a bitch. Uh -uh. Uh. So, signs of spring are popping out over the place. The trees are budding out. The uh, daffodils and surprise lilies are popping up all over the place. All over. Just everywhere you look, man. And uh, with that, all the critters are coming out, too. Like I said before, I, uh, I'm i not so much anti-snake as I am anti-harm to my kids. <clears throat> uh, I love the diversity and the wildlife uh, that nature has to offer on our particular plot of land. But I shudder to think what my girls would... Um, well, I just, I don't even want to think about them getting bit by water moccasin or a timber rattler or anything else. So, um, you know, like I said before, usually snakes and other animals will get out of your way. Uh, some of them are a little more aggressive than others, and some of them are just hard to see. God made them with the perfect camouflage. Unfortunately, that makes them hard for... Uh, for folks to see, and sometimes you accidentally step on them or step right next to them, and uh, that can end badly. And I don't want to end badly for my girls, so. Uh, the water snakes don't bother me that much, and the other little earth snakes and brown snakes, they don't bother me that much, but the poisonous ones, they creep me out a little bit. I do like spring, though. And here, in between the Ozarks and the Washita's, Spring has definitely sprung. Hi, everybody. What you doing? It's me again, ZB. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm uh, raking up a little spot here in the creek bottoms uh, next to the mineral site that I want to start a food plot in, just a micro food plot. Uh, <clears throat> DK and I know that the deer from trail cam pictures and whatnot are coming through here quite a bit. Uh, this is a main trail from the bedding area out to the feeding area. So uh, <clears throat> they're already coming through here. What we want to work on is just slowing them down a minute and getting them comfortable in here, giving them some, some nice green food source and uh, kind of opening this little spot up so that a little bit more sun gets through the canopy. So, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll be rewarded with a nice little lush green patch, a little micro patch of food for them. <clears throat> so, let's continue. <laughs> hinge cut that just like that and uh, see what happens.
So, starting to get it cleared out and starting to get a couple of these little hinge cuts in here. Uh, like I said, it's not going to be a very big spot. It's just going to be big enough for them to be kind of funneled through this way. And hopefully, um, as they're going through, they will stop and they will eat. Uh, and maybe give me just enough time to get one on the ground. So I'm going to keep clearing some of this here out and uh, maybe make a few more cuts. It's actually not too bad right here. There's actually going to be some sun getting in here naturally. So that's awesome. Let's just keep going. Mosquitoes already, man. What the hell? You can tell what I'm kind of trying to do is uh, sort of set them up a pathway through here where they're coming through here anyway, but just get them coming right through here, getting a little snack, and then moving on whichever way they want to. So this should be interesting if nothing else. What I've got here, this is that mix of about seven different things. Um, I don't know if you can see it real well, but it's basically like winter peas, alfalfa, um, ooh, clover, hairy vetch. There's like seven different things in here. Buckwheat, so I'm just gonna spread it around on this fresh dirt and we're gonna see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna grow or not, but we're gonna try to get it to grow. You know, so that's good.
probably should have brought the whole box or two baggies with me. I just filled up a baggie just to see what it would do. Yeah, so, not too bad. <laughs> uh, if nothing else, this is just fun. <laughs> you know, so that's cool. We shall see. <laughs> That's basically your hinge cuts and everything. And then I've got it seated. It's not seated very deep. Um, and it's not seated very thick. I just basically scratched up the ground underneath the, the leaves. It looks like really rich soil underneath these leaves, so I don't know. So I've got it planted and everything, and it sure is good to be out here with God and his creation. So. Remember that, when y'all get out here, hunting's not just about killing the animals. It is, I wanna, I wanna eat them just as bad as anybody else. <laughs> but uh, a lot of it, for me, is getting out in the woods, getting out in the creation, and, uh, and just being with God, and, and working his land. You know, this is his earth. He's just letting us borrow it for a while. Anyway, love y'all, keep you tuned, bye.